Hi, my name is Emma Jean. If you're new, welcome to my channel. If you're wondering who is she? Who is this girl on my screen, on my phone? What's the third thing that I say? On your screen. My name is Emma Jean and I am a yoga certified teacher. Huh? And I am a certified yoga teacher of 200 hours. And I have another yoga video for you. I'm gonna talk about why you should try yoga more than once. All right, go ahead and stay tuned. First off, why you should try yoga for a second time is because it's kind of like learning a bike. I know the two things are completely different, but I'm trying to find another point for you to more better understand as to why you should just try yoga just one more time. Again, it's like riding a bike. And I say that because it takes practice, right? You do it through repetition. You do it through just doing it. And at first when you're doing it, you feel like you don't know what's going on. You feel like nothing you do is ever changing anything. But obviously that does change because when you keep riding your bike and you keep putting yourself on there and you get hurt, you get back up, it's the same thing as yoga. You might not fall and get hurt and then get back up. Maybe, I don't know, but but you want to keep trying it more because there are poses in yoga that are the foundational poses. Once you learn those, you are able to take classes that kind of build off of that. At the studio that I work at, we do have a beginner class. And I say that in quotes because it doesn't mean just beginners take that class. It goes back to the basics. It goes back to the foundational poses, which are then worked up for the more advanced classes. Once you learn those poses or the foundational poses, you can then be able to move on from there. Another thing is that you can't tell if you like yoga or not the first time that you take it. I will say this from experience, and I'm sure others can too. My first time that I did yoga, okay, well, let's see. My first time I did yoga, I did a yoga sculpt class. So it wasn't really yoga because there was cardio in there and weights and all of that stuff, but there was still yoga integrated in it. But it did also have heat like yoga did. And I, let me tell you, I was not a fan. I was like, I don't know how people do this. I don't think I can do this. I don't want to do this. What am I doing here? I was just thinking all these negative thoughts, right? Then I started taking other classes besides the Yoga Sculpt one. I took the ones where there were no weights, no cardio. I still didn't like it. It was the heat. And it was just the fact that everything was so slow and so quiet. But what got me going was that there were so many things about yoga that I didn't know, which made me want to keep trying. I gave it the benefit of the doubt. I told myself that I felt like I didn't like it because I didn't understand it, which makes sense. We have a lot of things in the unknown world that we don't know about, and it makes it seem like we don't like it. It's like, kind of like a food that you don't like that you haven't tried before. It's the same thing. Kind of like not liking a food that you haven't tried or you just tried it once and you didn't like it. But what if you tried again at a different place and you end up liking it or you like it in a certain way? It's the same thing with yoga. You may not like it at first because you don't understand it. You don't under, you don't know what's going on. Maybe try it in a different format. Maybe try it with a different teacher. Try it on a different day. Try it at a different studio. Just try, 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 and just do it with different people, different places. You never know. You might, you might like it. Another thing is that if you didn't like it because of an aspect, so for example, you didn't like it because of the heat, this ties into the other point that I was talking about. Try a class out that doesn't have heat. There are so many different forms of yoga to try. Me, my certification is in vinyasa, which means breath to movement. So I am certified in a type of yoga that you breathe in, reach your fingers up to the top, exhale, forward fold. So you would breathe in, do this, breathe out, do that. And it's more of a flow by using your breath. There are many more forms of yoga that I'm not very familiar with, like Hatha. There's so many kinds, but if you if there's an aspect of yoga that you may not like, like the heat or of holding the poses or the breath to movement connection, there are different ones that you can try out. With yoga, with the first thing, it seems physical at first. Let me explain. My first time, especially since it was a yoga sculpt, I just went in there to get a sweat, to get a workout, to have a nice body, and because of how I look like. Trust me, that feeling of yoga will eventually go away because even though it is stretching, it is still a workout, not only for your body, but most importantly for your mind. So once you keep practicing, there's no timeline of when you will feel this. For me, I think it was about three years until I realized that yoga has nothing to do with being physical. Yes, with vinyasa, it's very a modern like yoga that 
makes it a workout but when you take out that aspect of it and really go into like the old times about it or the history of it it's really about your mind and how to center yourself how to find some release with your mind how to control your mind and how to alter that or transform that through your body I know we got some deep shit right here. You will notice that yoga is about leaving your mind with all the thoughts and clutter that you have, diminish anything that you have in your thoughts, let them go. It's easier said than done. It is very, very difficult to go through yoga and have thoughts that are running through your mind to kind of simmer or come down. I have been practicing for many years, I would say six or seven. I have been teaching for about two and I still have this issue. Not everyone is going to completely have this mindset to be perfect, but over time, it will help once you keep practicing. I believe that yoga is something like a form of therapy that really leaves you to go home off of your mat with less tension in your body, to feel your mind with more freedom, and just a better way to understand your body more, to be able to listen to the teacher. Another thing that I thought was very interesting that I also learned over time was being able to listen to the teacher. They'll tell you a lot of things like lift your right foot up, step down into low lunge, things like that. Once you keep practicing, you'll notice that you are not looking up as much at the teacher. You are so into your practice that you are listening to your teacher as a guidance to help you go through your practice. And it's just one fluid motion. And when you look up, it's like it's been an hour. It's just the most amazing thing. You will go through a point in your practice where you no longer have to be looking around. You no longer have to think of distractions in your mind that's going on in the outside world. You no longer have to think that someone's looking at me because they're judging me or looking at how cute my yoga pants are. No, when you are practicing yoga, it is just so amazing once you reach that breaking point that you are practicing and just there are just no, there's just like no given. I could probably wear that a different way, but you get the gist. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, like and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.